Here we go. So today we're doing, can you fly 1.3 gigahertz with a R9, our crossfire system? That's what we're gonna find out. And is 1.3 gigahertz worth it with this big ass antenna? Is it better than 5.8 with rapid fire? So obviously it's better than 5.8 by itself, but with rapid fire, we don't know. So I've got this uh, TBS filter to stop interference. I also got this filter for 900 megahertz for the R9 system. Probably should have got the one gigahertz one, but it's not gonna make that much of a difference since the roll off doesn't quite start at 900. Anyway, let's get out there, test it out, and uh, see what it is. So here's the 5.8 setup I'm gonna be using, which is Omni and a patch with rapid fire. Here's the 1.3 quad, here is the 5.8 quad, and I've decided to take this little, uh, this filter off. All right, so I've always had really bad problems with video back here. Let's see, people are at work, so, uh-huh, holy shit, okay. Looking pretty bad, but we made it. All right, so it, it was pretty shaky, so. But everything else looks great. And this is kind of what you're gonna notice is that is it worth it to be able to see behind that building to have shitty video the rest of the time while you freestyle. So here's the 1.3 setup with the filter. There's the 1.3 quad. I just need to match the orientation of the antenna real quick. Okay, so that was pretty much a fail, but I wanna try it one more time. I just kinda adjusted the antenna a little bit, and I wanna just go around the building one more time without moving my head or my arms or anything. So, we're pretty good. Okay, yeah, and then we get problems here. Not horrible. Yeah, so the video is better, especially for no rapid fire. The control link did pretty well. So, is it worth it? We're gonna have to find out. Okay, now let's do just something else while I have some packs. Let's see how far out this way I can go. Okay, so this is where 1.3 shines, I guess. Holy shit, I'm about to cry. So, yeah, this is cool. I don't think I've ever been able to go that far out. That was pretty cool. So maybe this is more for planes or maybe long range. I'm not gonna test it. If you wanna test long range, find somebody to do that. But yeah, that was pretty nifty. I wonder if I should do that on, let me do that on 5.8 real quick, see if I can. Be right back. Okay, let's see, 5.8 test. Can it go the distance? I guess we're about to find out. Hopefully I don't fail safe into that road. Everything looks good right now. Okay. Oh shit. I mean, I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh. Shaky. I'm gonna have to check, I don't know. Okay guys, final thoughts. Um, so as far as filters go, I don't recommend putting this on your radio link, on your control, because it does diminish your range quite a bit. Maybe if I would've got the one gigahertz one, it would've been a little bit better, but it kind of suppresses the range. Um, this filter, I highly recommend if you're running a 900 megahertz control link like crossfire or r9 because it really does improve the video this also improves the video but it's not worth it in my opinion for the lack of range because the whole point of 1.3 is to be able to fly further now can you fly further yes you definitely can i do recommend this if anyone wants to just pop this into their goggles and do some casual long range just hold your controller a little bit lower than you normally would because i was getting some interference because I like to keep my control pretty high up on my chest. Um, for regular freestyle though, no, I don't recommend this. Um, th if they had this in rapid fire, that would be so sick. 1.3 gigahertz rapid fire. But 
for everyday urban environment, freestyle with Wi-Fi interference and just cell phone interference, all that stuff in the city, rapid fire all day. If you're going to the mountains and the country and you want to kind of get those smooth, long range, maybe, you know, I don't know, those, you know what I'm talking about, those shots, those air views type shots, I, I would recommend this. It's a it's a more convenient option than getting a ground station and setting all that up with your big antennas and all that bullshit. You just put this in your goggles and you're good to go. So highly recommended. This is a, another 1.3 system that I didn't get a chance to test. I tested the Maytech version that I'll put in the description. Um, it's 600 milliwatts. I think this one goes a little higher to 800, but it shouldn't make a big difference. And here is a another profile version of a 1.3 antenna. Some people may prefer that. It is pretty much the same deal, but anyway, stay safe out there. 1.3 Saga has ended here. I'm gonna be sticking with this. If I go anywhere out in the wilderness, I will be bringing this with me because it's such, so easy to switch. I think, by the way, price, I forgot. I think this was $37 and this was like $30 or something like that, 25 and 38, one of those. I'm bad with numbers. But yeah, this is a nice setup. The filter was uh, eight bucks. I'll put the links in the description. Um, stay safe out there, stay quarantined out there. FPE from your couches. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, peace. I'll try to make more videos.